In this video, we're going to have a look at finding the mean and standard deviation of a normal distribution whose mean and standard deviation is unknown. So look at the question here. It says the random variable t is normally distributed with mean mu and standard deviation sigma. It is given that the probability that t is greater than 80 is 0 0.05 and the probability that t is greater than 50 is 0 0.75. Find the values of mu and sigma. Well, the first thing we're going to do is have a look at these probabilities here. So, drawing a normal distribution, very rough, and it says the probability that t is greater than a value is 0.05. So, marking this as 0.05, that's the shaded area. So, the key here is to find the z value, but in two different ways. So just reminding ourselves what a z value is, it means the number of standard deviations from the mean. So we've got this boundary here, which is 80. So the z value here, the number of standard deviations from the mean, is 80 take mu. That finds us the distance from the mean, divided by the standard deviation. That gives us the number of standard deviations from the mean. However, we can do the same for a different distribution also. We can do this for the distribution that has mean 0 and standard deviation 1. And what we can do, we can use this probability to find out the z value. So we're going to distribution mode, inverse normal. And what we need is the area to the left. The calculator deals with area to the left. So the area to the left here is 0 0.95. Standard deviation 1 and mean mu. And we can see that the distance from the mean is 1.6449 of that particular boundary. When the probability is 0.05 to the right or 0.95 to the left. But because the standard deviation of this distribution is 1, let's go back and have a look at that. It also coincides with the number of standard deviations from the mean as well. So if we do this for the 0-1 distribution, we actually get, as a number, how many standard deviations from the mean a particular boundary is. So, 1.6449. So we know that it's 80 minus mu over sigma standard deviations from the mean, or 1.6449 as well. And we got that from using the 0-1 distribution. Right, let's do it again for this one here for the probability that t is greater than 50. So we get that the z value is 50 minus mu over sigma. And then if we go to the 0-1 distribution, we see that it was the probability that t is greater than 50. So the area to the right is 0.75. That means the area to the left is 0.25 so the boundary that has 0.25 area to the left on the 0.1 distribution is minus 0.6745 to the left of the mean but because the standard deviation is 1 it also coincides with the number of standard deviations from the mean so minus 0.6745 equals minus 0.6745 let's just check again that that's right minus 0.6745 yes so now we've got two simultaneous equations in mu and sigma let's rearrange them to something our calculator can solve so equation a and equation b if i take equation a and multiply by sigma i get 80 minus mu equals 1.6 449 sigma and getting both the variables on the left hand side and the numbers on the right I get minus mu minus 1.6449 sigma equals minus 80 or if I want to make them positive there's no need I'll cut you a little deal with negative numbers but you just want to look nice 1.6449 sigma equals 80 so that's equation A Equation B, so we've got 
50 minus mu equals minus 0.6745 sigma, which means that, so let's take the standard deviation to the left, we get minus mu plus 0.6745 sigma equals minus 50. Let's leave that as it is. And now on our calculator, let's solve those two equations simultaneously. So if we go into simultaneous equation mode, two unknowns. So I'm going to say x is mu and sigma is y. So the first equation here, I get 1 mu plus 1.6449 sigma equals 80. And minus 1 mu plus 0.6745 sigma equals minus 50. So I get mu equals 58.7 to three significant figures. And sigma equals 12.9 to three significant figures. Put a box around it. Let the examiner know that's your final answer. So just to go back and double check on what we've done here. What we did, <clears throat> we worked out the Z value, i.e. the number of standard deviations from the mean, that 80 lay in this distribution. That was 80 take mu. That gives us how far it is away from the mean, divided by sigma, how many standard deviations it is from the mean. And then we did it a different way. We actually looked at the 0.1 distribution. We thought, well, we know the area to the right is 0.05. So let's find out how many standard deviations from the mean on the Z distribution. That is a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one. See how far away from the mean that would lie. But because the standard deviation is one, the boundary line also corresponds with how many standard deviations away it is. So we found it to be 1.6449. We did the same for the other. Then we solved them simultaneously, which led to those answers there. So that's how you do this. If you're asked to find the mean and standard deviation of an unknown, unknown normal distribution, then this is what you should do. Find the Z values two different ways. Solve the equation simultaneously. But you have a look at some of my exam questions that I've put online. There's a lot more like this. So for more videos like this, exam questions, etc., go to alevelmathsrevision.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.